Hi everyone, we're going to be taking a look at congruent triangles. We've done congruent segments, we've done congruent angles, and it's finally time to move on to the congruent triangle. Congruent triangles, you may guess, are just two triangles that are exactly the same. For example, here below we've got triangle ABC and we've got triangle XY. Z, let's take a look at the angles. Here at angle C, we've got a right angle. That corresponds with this right angle here, angle Z. We've got a one congruent line here at angle B with one congruent line at angle Y. Those are congruent. And we've got two congruent lines here at angle A and two congruent lines here at angle X. So each of these triangles have exactly the same angles. Let's take a look at the sides. Here we've got side AC. That's congruent to side XZ. Those corresponding sides are congruent. Here we've got CB, the same measure as ZY. Those are congruent. And then we've got AB with three congruent dashes corresponding with this XY that also has three congruent dashes. So those are congruent. So basically congruent triangles means that all angles are congruent with the other triangle and then all corresponding sides are congruent with the other triangle. And how we write this is we say we would say that triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle X, Y, Z. Now the order you put these letters is very important in dealing with congruent triangles because you want them to match with their corresponding angles and sides. For example, here angle here point A goes first and here point X goes first. That means that A should be congruent to X. And if we look, we've got two congruent marks here at A and two congruent marks here at X, so that's true. Let's look at angle B, that's second, and as it compares to angle Y. Here's B with one congruent mark, here's Y with one congruent mark. So those are correct. And then C and Z correspond, and C is a right angle, and Z is also a right angle. So that is true as well. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Let's look at these. this first side. Side AB, that should match with side XY. Here we've got side AB with three congruent dashes. Here we've got side XY with three congruent dashes. So that is true as well. Let's take a look next. We've got, let's say, side BC and side YZ. Let's see if those match up. Here we've got side BC with two congruent dashes. Here we've got YZ with two congruent dashes, so those match up. Lastly, we should have A and C matching with X and Z, so let's check it out. We've got A and C with one congruent dash, and X and Z with one congruent dash. So, remember to keep in mind the order that these are placed because it's going to tell you which angles are congruent and which sides are congruent. All right, here we've got two triangles. Let's go ahead and first see if they're congruent and then see if we can identify which angles correspond with which angles and which sides correspond with which sides. So first off, I notice this is a 90 degree angle. So I know this also has to be a 90 degree angle because these are a linear pair, so those have to add to equal 180. Now I do see this side is congruent to this side, this side is congruent to this side, but what about this third side here? I don't know what to match that with, but we can see that this side is shared between this triangle and this triangle, so it obviously has to be congruent to itself. So I'm just going to draw three dashes there just to remind me. Okay, first let's look at our two different triangles. Let's see this triangle on the left is let's say L N M. So we want triangle L N M to be congruent to triangle. Now let's check. Well first I know I have L so I know that has to match with O over here because here we've got one congruent mark here we've got one congruent mark. So I'm going to go ahead and start by writing O. Next I've got N N, I know, is going to match here with itself, N, because they're both right angles between these triangles. So I'm going to go ahead and put N next. And lastly, I need M, and that's going to match with itself as well over here, angle M, because those each have two congruent marks. So let's put 
m there. And just to check, let's go ahead and look at our sides. ln should match with on. I've got ln here, that's one dash, with on, that also has one dash. Next we have nm, that should match with nm. nm obviously is congruent to itself, nm. Lastly, we have lm and om. lm has two dashes, and om has two dashes, so these are indeed the congruent triangles.